Good day Denarians on the go and in the know. It is November 26, 2019. Be sure and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner in the description box below. The number one currency exchange planner for the Denarian community for both pre and post RV planning. Tell them the Denarian sent you. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. First article of interest. Parliamentary Finance Discusses with the Central Bank Governor the Mechanism of Selling the Currency A parliamentary source said Tuesday that the Parliamentary Finance Committee is hosting the Governor of the Central Bank Kali Alak and the Director General of the Tax. The source told, Moise News, the Parliamentary Finance Committee is hosting today, the Central Bank Governor on the relationship and the Director General of the Tax to discuss the mechanisms of selling the currency. Next article of interest. Barzani announces a third visit to the delegation of the Kurdistan region to Baghdad next week. The head of the Kurdistan region, Nekhervan Barzani, said on Tuesday that the delegation of the regional government will hold a third visit to Baghdad next week in order to reach an agreement on oil exports and the federal budget. This came in a press conference held after he put a crown of flowers on the grave of former Iraqi President and Secretary General of the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan Jalal Talabani in Sulaymaniyah. Barzani said during the conference that the relations between the Kurdistan region and Baghdad are very good, adding that the delegation of the Kurdistan regional government made two visits to Baghdad and will visit again next week in order to reach an agreement on the issue of oil exports and the general budget. We are continuing to cooperate with Baghdad to overcome the current situation. Next article of interest. U.S. reveals sticking points to trade deal with China. The United States and China are close to a trade deal, but three of the biggest sticking points remain, White House advisor Killian Conway said on Tuesday. We are already approaching. We are continuing to negotiate, Conway said in an interview with Fox News. But this compulsory technology transfer, theft of intellectual property rights and the trade imbalance of half a trillion dollars a year with the world's second largest economy, China, is not logical. Next article of interest, Blachart Haubausi, We aspire to a transparent and more acceptable electoral law. Speaker of the House of Representatives received Mohamed Haubousi, the representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations in Iraq, Ms. Janine Blatchart and head of the Office of Electoral Assistance. During the meeting the efforts of the Council of Representatives to proceed with the legislation of the new election law and the Independent High Electoral Commission Act, he said stressing that the council will work to legislate these two laws to restore confidence between the people and the entire political process and ensure the right to vote for all the people. For her part, Blaskart and her advisory team expressed the readiness of the United Nations to provide assistance and provide international experts and achieve international standards in the election mechanisms and the work of the commission to enable Iraqis to elect their representatives in a transparent and more acceptable. Next article of interest. Ali Anasif calls for an investigation into corruption files in the Iraqi Trade Bank. MP Ali Anasif demanded supervisors to open an investigation into the corruption files of the former director of the Iraqi Trade Bank, TBI, which gave loans to her relatives in large amounts to finance mock projects. Nassif said in a statement received to the voice of the Iraqi community, the former director of the Trade Bank of Iraq, TBI, has given loans to relatives and members of her tribe in large amounts exceeded $600 million and without real guarantees to finance mock projects in the Kurdistan region, has been issued arrest warrants are hidden from, people who have received loans do not exist. Nassif said, the total of these loans is more than the capital of the bank where these funds disappeared and whether the state was unable to all its control and security institutions to pursue these funds and find the director of the fugitive bank. Then cannot the regional government of Sirius and its cooperation with the government detailed information on the fate of these funds, which are likely to be in the balances of persons within the territory. She continued. This scandal will damage the reputation of the banking system in Iraq and make foreign investors reluctant to invest inside Iraq, 
because the opening of credit requires the existence of a bank with a good reputation, while the Iraqi Bank for Trade is the only bank approved by international banks and foreign companies and financial departments around the world. But this scandal has become a black point in its history, stressing the need for the relevant regulatory authorities to open this file and know the fate of those funds. Next article of interest. NASF calls for activating the files of defense corruption, including 21 files related to al Obaidi. A member of the Parliamentary Integrity Committee, Ali Nassif, on Tuesday, called on the judiciary to open all files of the Ministry of Defense through which theft of fictitious funds, indicating that it referred to the Integrity Commission dozens of files, including 21 files related to the former Minister Khaled al Obaidi. Nassif said in a statement to the information that, as long as the current situation is moving towards the face of large corruption files must be open files of corruption of the Ministry of Defense, which was stolen fictional money, noting that, provided dozens of files that relate to the Ministry and supported by a special hard evidence 21 corruption file of the dismissed Minister Khalid al Obaidi and is in the office of the Inspector General of the Ministry of Defense. Nassif accused former Prime Minister Haider al Abadi of covering up al Abadi's corruption files and offering the bribery file because it was initially closed. Nassif pointed out that, of the files covered by the file included the base of Esawira, which was noted by Mr. Muqtada al Sadr in the past and the file of the Peace Hospital, which had been completed would have provided a large amount of money to the Treasury as well as files relating to armaments and other there are confessions and full certificates by dealers documented by the Commission on Integrity, but was silent about it at the time. In June, Nassif called on the Judiciary and the Integrity Commission to decide on the files of the former Ministers of Trade and Defense, Salman al-Jumali and Khalid al obaidi indicating that the files were referred to the Judiciary two years ago. Next article of interest. Maliki to the British Ambassador, Iraq targeted. President of the Coalition of Law Nuri al-Maliki received in his office today the new UK Ambassador to Iraq Stephen Hickey and discussed the developments in Iraq and the region. Maliki said according to a statement to his office received agency, Euphrates News, a copy of it, welcoming Ambassador Hickey, wishing him success in his new mission as Ambassador to Baghdad stressing the need to strengthen bilateral relations in various fields. He pointed out, the region is experiencing exceptional circumstances difficult and suffering from the state of instability after it has turned into an arena for conflicts and a scene of settling scores. The head of the State of Law Coalition stressed that, Iraq is targeted in its security, stability and economy expressing its support for always and democratic solutions that will get the country out of the current crisis, calling on everyone to live up to the level of national responsibility and support the legitimate demands of peaceful demonstrators away from stalling and stalling. For his part, Ambassador Hickey expressed his country's support for Iraq and its people in all fields and in order to achieve its internal and regional stability. Next article of interest. Barzani and al Qaq stress the need to give Abdul Mahdi a chance to implement the reform packages. The head of the Kurdistan regional government, Masroor Barzani, on Tuesday, director of the Middle East and North Africa at the British Foreign Office Stephanie al Qaq and her delegation. During the meeting, according to the statement of the media office of Barzani's office, which was attended by British Consul General and Herbal James Thornton, discuss the latest developments in the Iraqi scene, and stress that instability in the country is not in the interest of Iraqis in general and the region as a whole. It was also stressed the need to give the Iraqi Prime Minister an opportunity to respond to the legitimate and legal demands of the demonstrators and the implementation of reform packages. During the meeting, the British support for the reform program in the Kurdistan regional government especially with regard to the Ministry of Peshmerga. Next article of interest. A parliamentary committee is discussing with the central bank to correct fiscal policy and not rely on oil. Discuss the parliamentary finance committee with the governor of the central bank and director general of the tax authority, on Tuesday, the correction of fiscal policy and non-dependence on oil. The committee hosted today, 
the governor of the central bank and the director general of the tax authority to discuss the issue of maximizing non-oil revenues and assessing the monetary and economic policy of the country, MP Haytham al Jubari said in a statement received. The chairman of the Finance Committee to support the Iraqi economic reality and move it through the correction of fiscal policy and correct it and not rely on oil alone as a resource and maximize revenues through the government to take urgent measures to control the waste of billions of dollars a year at the border through the process of automating the customs and tax procedures in it. The Finance Committee indicated that will continue its oversight role by holding more meetings and hosts to find imbalances in the economic reality of the country and hold accountable for the negligent and the performance of their work and corrupt where their positions and positions, as well as continue its legislative role, which contributed to the adoption of the most important laws during the current crisis of our dear country in addition to the adoption of new laws helped to solve the financial problems of the country. Next article of interest. The central bank agrees to open a branch in Suleymaniyah. Twilight News, the central bank of Iraq, on Tuesday, the opening of the branch of Suleymaniyah of the bank pending an official request to the Kurdistan regional government, while a number of Kurdish deputies asked the government of the region in this regard. A statement by the deputies Ahmed Haji Rashid, Shiron Mirza and Hashir Abdullah, Kurdish members of the Finance Committee in the Iraqi Council of Representatives, where they pointed out that the committee hosted on Tuesday the governor of the central bank of the relationship, and held talks with him on a number of problems and obstacles in Iraqi monetary policy. The statement pointed out that the meeting witnessed Kurdish MPs to the possibility of opening a branch of the central bank of Iraq in the city of Suleymaniyah, outside the framework of the main topic of the meeting, calling for clarifications on this file and where it arrived. The three deputies also pointed out that the relationship confirmed that if they received an official request from the provincial government in this regard, the bank will open a branch in Suleymaniyah and agree to open the branch. The three deputies demanded the Kurdistan regional government to accelerate the submission of an official request in this regard to the Central Bank of Iraq. Next article of interest. Parliament votes to amend local election law and dissolve provincial councils. The House of Representatives voted on Tuesday on the proposal of the Second Amendment Law of the Provincial and District Council Elections Law No. 12 of 2018. A parliamentary source told Twilight News that the most important part of the amendment of the law is to end the work of provincial councils that are not organized in the province and the councils of districts and subordinate areas of the current. The members of the House of Representatives each as far as the governor it is represented, shall exercise supervision and control over the work of the governor and his deputies in each governorate and submit the necessary recommendations thereon to the House of Representatives. This law shall enter into force from the date of voting in the House of Representatives. Next article of interest. Legal expert comments on new election law. Individual election is easier and will eliminate quota. The legal expert Ali al Tamimi on Tuesday, that the election law of the new Council of Representatives in marriage between direct individual election and proportional representation. Al Tamimi said in a statement to Al Akbaria that the law currently enforces a combination of direct individual election and proportional representation. Distribution of 50% of constituency seats rounded to the smallest integer by resequencing all candidates in the constituency regardless of their electoral roles. The remaining 50% will be distributed according to proportional representation. He added, This law will return us to the law of St. Lego, because of the proportion of 50% will be distributed on the basis of proportional representation. This step will bring us back to the closed list and the surplus votes will be distributed to the candidates on the list. He pointed out that, based on the above, it will arrive to Parliament people who were not elected but arrived through the distribution of surplus votes and lost the rights of the voter, noting that, the adoption of individual election is the easiest way and will eliminate quotas and consensus. Next article of interest. Had it calls for readiness for any possibilities, the delegation of the Kurdistan government to visit Baghdad on Sunday. Bashir Hadid, 
Deputy Speaker of the Iraqi Council of Representatives on Tuesday that the delegation of the Kurdistan regional government will visit the federal capital Baghdad next Sunday. Let us prepare for any eventuality or any bad event that may happen in Iraq, had it said at a seminar in our bill. Conducted by the Kurdish political parties. He added that the ongoing talks between the Kurdistan regional government and the federal government were fruitful, noting that the delegation of the Kurdistan regional government will visit Baghdad on Sunday next week. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted on new news as it unfolds from Iraq. Be sure to check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, the number one must-have tool for the currency exchange for both pre- and post-RV planning. Remember to stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, more articles of interest to come, over and out for now, the Dinarian.